Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this showcase video. Today we have an absolute monster for you to check out in the form of Tiberus, the Red Wake, chapter master of the Carcaridons, one of the chapters heavily involved with the Badab War. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that campaign, then I suggest you do go and check it out. He is well known for slaying many traitors during that campaign, uh, in including the sons of the Sanguinius in the form of the Lamenters, who turned away from the Emperor's light briefly for a period of time um but yeah a really cool character model um now this model has been completely custom made and converted uh, as well as obviously painted for our clients uh, to just give their own sort of version of Tiberus. Uh, again, a really, really phenomenal model, uh, super imposing. And uh, right from the get go, if we jump in, you can just see the sheer size of this model. Um, there's been so much work has been involved with creating this specific miniature, uh, including all the individual placement of these little sort of studs on the armor, lots of conversion work and things just to really give him that uh, that very menacing and looming sort of uh, sort of representation which uh, which our clients requested um so just advancing forward here with those really evil looking claws that you can see there and just all the little details on the armor obviously you've got that really cool kind of shark jaw maw that's just around the sort of uh, sort of protective area of the terminator plate um obviously you've got some really really nice little details like for example like the shark teeth just on that braid there around the shin uh you've got these huge huge lightning claws that are not only are lightning claws but also have sort of chain fist aspects to them as well so just not only going to slice but he's also going to dice when he uh, when he hits you with these. You've got this really cool kind of energy cell kind of thing on the back that's kind of uh, kind of like powering the claws. And you can see those subtle areas of a little bit of blue just splashed on certain areas of the uh, sort of motors or generators, and then obviously on just at the top of those uh, those blades there, you can see the really subtle blue glow. Just show that energy is going through them. Um, you can't ignore the really cool kind of tribal patterning uh, sort of designs that have free handed across the areas of armor on this miniature as well. Uh, very much in keeping with the Carl Carradine kind of background and sort of uh, thing that they have on their army you can see there's some more there just on the top that's all been done but again a really really awesome execution just in this sort of overall work to create the miniature and then obviously talking about the paint job as well uh, just lots of little details which have all had a lot of painstaking time included on them just to really go over things um, obviously known as the Red Wake Tiberus just uh, just well an absolute monster when it comes to uh, dispatching the enemies of the Emperor um, just he's brutal in combat obviously hence the loadout that he's got and he's uh, very much well known for that also uh, and we really wanted to depict that as best as possible possible in this uh, sort of uh, one-off model for our clients um, as you can see just advancing in there in the pose which is really really cool you just would not want to mess with this guy um, again but absolutely love all the little detail works that have been painted on there by Will and uh, the creation of the model as well down to him just really really well done you got the Carcaridon's uh, sort of uh, chapter heraldry there just on that shoulder pad um, just all denoted obviously on that black sort of lining of the pad uh, all the lenses and everything done with a full kind of reddish kind of glow point of that the point of light source and catch lights there I love the desaturation and the desaturated colors on the armor so for example the red it's not a super vibrant red even the yellow on those two kind of lightning bolts on the chest is not super bright either um, and the gold work has got quite a nice little bit of saturation in it so it's not super super vibrant but it's just in real keeping with the overall palette of the miniature which i just think works extremely well um, got a really cool kind of stone kind of basing as well with some slight scatterings of tufts and obviously skulls it's a it's a 40k model you just couldn't have 40k models without skulls on the bases in, in my opinion um, but yeah just really really well executed and uh, uh, this awesome Tiberus the Red Wake model uh, to now join our clients collection uh, so I do hope you like it ever so much thank you so much for watching the video guys I will see you very soon on the next one take care So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. 
While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.